The Word of God is more than just a book. It nourishes us like bread and grows within us like a seed. It's the light to our path on the darkest day and a mirror that shows us who we really are. God's Word is a hammer that can break open the hardest heart, a sword that can divide between bone and marrow, spirit and soul, and it's the foundation of an unshakable life. Discover the power and beauty of God's Word. Abide. Good evening, everyone. It's day three of our prayer, fasting, and consecration week. Our theme this year is Abide, the power and beauty of God's Word. And how many of you are experiencing the power of God's Word and really appreciate the beauty of His Word as we bask together in His presence this week? We are also inviting everyone to, uh, to share your testimonies and uh, breakthroughs in our virtual breakthrough wall. Um, the QR code is appearing on your screen because we want to uh, celebrate with you. We are excited to uh, know your testimonies and breakthroughs. Uh, and also, before we worship God today, tag and invite your family and friends. Uh, we're excited as we pray later for our church. Before we worship God, let me show you something. I remember a passage when Jesus was on his triumphal entry. The crowd began to worship him, shouted uh, their praises and worship to God, saying, Blessed is the king who comes in the name of the Lord. But some of the Pharisees requested Jesus to stop him. And Jesus said, I tell you, if these people were silent, the very stone would cry out. Kahit hindi tayo magpure, kaya ni Lord bigyan ng buhay ang lahat ng kanyang creation to give glory and worship Him. As Psalm 156 says, let everything that has breath praise the Lord. And throughout the Psalm 148, alam niyo marami pong um, mga uh, created things, praising God, our Creator. The sun, the moon, the heaven, the sky, all the animals. And we, being human beings, we are here to declare the, uh, the goodness of our God. As the heaven declares the glory of God, the skies proclaim the works of His hand. So everyone... And everything was created to worship and give glory to our great God. Let me pray for you. Lord God, we worship you. We bow before you in awe of who you are. And help us, Lord, to live in fear of you, in reverence before you as we abide in you. Come on, church. Let's worship our great God. Before we worship God, let me read to you Psalm chapter 27, verse 4. One thing I have desired of the Lord that I will seek, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, to behold the beauty of the Lord and to inquire in His temple. As one church, let's worship God and let's magnify Him even in the midst of trials and challenges.
on seeing all creation. All creation speaks your glory. Come on. Angels declare you are worthy. You spoke a word. You spoke a word and created the earth. The stars erupted in praise. Come on, once again. The stars erupted in praise. We stand in awe. We stand in awe of you. We stand in awe of you. Here in your presence, we stand. Where you lead us. 
us we run 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 to your side our hearts are eager come on church once again sing us one your light shines straight through the night now we can see
Yes, Lord, today it's day three of our prayer, fasting, and consecration week, oh God. And we just declare, God, we stand in awe of you, Lord God. Our declaration, Lord, is you are sustaining us. In fact, Lord, you are not just sustaining us through the fast, God. We declare by faith we are thriving, oh God, in this fast, Lord God. We are thriving, Lord. We are growing, God. Lord, we want to thank you that, Lord, in the fast, Lord God, even as we forego of our appetites, Lord, your presence, Lord God, is enough. Lord, join us today as we speak of a very important topic. We will talk about the church tonight, oh God. And I pray, Lord, that you will anoint not just the preaching, but also the understanding of your word. This is my prayer tonight in Jesus' name. And all of us will say, Amen and Amen. Come on, let's all comment Amen. Type po tayo dyan, Amen. Just type in our comment section, Amen. And wow, it's just, I'm just delighted to be here tonight. No, uh, Nagpapas po ako. Okay. <laughs> baka, uh, baka lang akala niyo hindi. You know, pataba lang po talaga tayo. But we are I'm fasting and uh, it's such a delight to be fasting with you. It's day three. And uh, before we jump into God's word, uh, I just want to uh, echo what Pastor Jerome told us a while ago. Uh, we are so sure that uh, the Holy Spirit is moving in your life. And some of you have probably received your breakthrough already. Ganun po ka, 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 kabait si Lord, ganun kagaling si Lord. Day three pa lang, you know. Some of you may, might have already received your breakthroughs. And so... Would, would you do us a favor? We want to encourage others as well. Could you share your breakthroughs through our uh, break, virtual breakthrough wall? Ayan po. Pinup, nakapost po ngayon yung, yung, yung QR code. And so if, if uh, uh, share God's movement in your life so that we can encourage others as well. And as we move on later... We will pray for, for the church. We will pray for our church in Metro Manila and in the provinces. But right now, let me ask this question to you. Now, uh, growing up, let me ask this question to you. Growing up, how did you perceive church? Yeah, okay. I'm sure, no? Uh, iba sa inyo, marami kayong perception about what church is. Now, if you ask me when I was growing up, uh, ito po, uh, uh, noon po ito, of course, no? I thought of church as a place to get pop popcorn. Okay, popcorn. Why? Eh, doon po, doon sa church na pinupunta namin, ang dami pong nagbebenta sa labas ng kung ano-ano. You know, meron po nagbebenta ng cropic, meron po nagbebenta ng fishball, meron po nagbebenta ng laruan. Alam niyo po ba yung laruan dati, yung parang may tumuto ka na manok? You know, you, tas may itlog na umihikot dito, you know. And uh, uh, may balloons. And meron nga nung mga popcorn. Yung popcorn na may kulay, no. At, at, at matamis. Meron pa nga mga cameramen. You know, how many few? Ganun yung ano, you know. Can you comment if you, ex comment experience is the same. If you, if you have the same experience as me growing up, you know, uh, attending a church. You know, meron pa nga po mga cameramen, no. Sabi ko, uh, 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 yung pwede kang yung hard copy pa picture noon you know uh, 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 15 pesos lang papakuha ka after 15 minutes you know ayun na yung hard copy ng ng, ng picture mo and uh, pwede na you know lalagay mo na sa sa album mo <laughs> okay but you see this is how i perceive church growing up but the bible presents to us a very different perception of what church is and that's what i'm going to talk about uh, tonight and what I'm going to present to you tonight. Tonight, we will use for our main text, Ephesians 5, verses 25 to 32. Now, this passage is often used to talk about marriage, but the truth is this passage is equally about the church as it is about marriage. And the first thing I want to share to you is this. The church is the bride of Christ. Now, let's go to verse 25. Verse 25 reads like this. Husbands, love your wives as Christ loved the church and gave himself up 
for her. Now, here we see the Apostle Paul, siya po yung author ng Ephesians, sets the parallelism between husbands and wives and Christ and the church. As Christ loves the church, so should the husband love his wife. Now, how did Jesus love the church? He sacrificed himself for the church. Remember that the church are the gathered believers. Tayo po ang church. We are the church. Thus, Christ sacrificed himself for us. As the husband, uh, Jesus sacrificed himself for us, the bride. And why did Jesus do this? The next verse tells us. Let's read it. That he might sanctify her, having cleansed her by the washing of water with the word. That word sanctify in this verse means to be set apart for the purposes of the Lord, which corresponds to that phrase, washing of the water with the word. By saying this, what the Apostle Paul is telling us is that Christ uses the word of God as a purification agent. Now, what does that mean? Hold on. Uh, simple lang po ang ibig sabihin niya. When we read the word of God, we grow. When we grow, we are sanctified. When we are sanctified, we forgo of our old impure habits. For example, dati po, may lig tayo magsinuwalin. You know, di pa tayo nagbabasa ng Bible, di pa natin kilala si Kristo. Yung natin magsinuwalin. But nung nakilala natin si Christ, we began reading the Bible. We understand now that God does not want lies or untruthfulness in our lives. And that's why we are drawn to the conviction of not doing it anymore. And so because of this, let's go to the next verse. Verse 27, so that he might present the church to himself in splendor without spot or wrinkle or any such thing that she might be holy and without blemish. The church now becomes a splendor in the eyes of Christ, magnificent and pure, worthy of the Lord Jesus Christ. The purify po ng word eh. Able to fulfill its calling to be holy in action and thought. Now, thus, looking at our verses, verses 25 to 27, we can say that as the bride of Christ, the church is to be Christ-like. No? The church is to be Christ-like. We should remember that God has set us apart. We are to act in holiness, purity, and righteousness just like who? Just like the Lord Jesus Christ. Di na pwede yung pag adik adik no? Di na pwede yun. Okay? Di na pwede yung nagmumura-mura ka dyan, you know? Yung kung ano-ano yung bumalabas sa bibig mo na hindi honoring kay Lord, you know? Sa Facebook, kung kung ano-ano yung lumalabas sa Facebook mo. You know, hindi na pwede pa ista-ista pa. Alright? Okay? The word, will allow the word to purify you. Now, the next and last thing I want to share to you this evening is this. The church is the body of Christ. Let's go to verse 28 right now. Verse 28, let me read it to you. In the same way, husbands, should love their wives as their own bodies. He who loves his wife loves himself. Now here, the Apostle Paul uses the body as a figure of speech in pertaining to the church. The love of a husband to his wife should be parallel or equal to the love of his own body. In this light, the husband's love to his wife is seen as loving the self. You know? Uh, uh, pagmahal mo po yung asawa mo, para mo na rin minahal yung sarili mo, para mo na rin minahal yung sarili mong body. Also, in the same way, conversely, this means that the husband should be willing to sacrifice his own body for the love of his wife, which as we know, is what the Lord Jesus Christ did for us, as we mentioned earlier, earlier no? in, in, in the last verses. Further on, in the next verse, it says, verse 29, For no one ever hated his own flesh, but nourishes and cherishes it, just as Christ does the church. Here, we are brought to, under, to the understanding of how exactly Jesus loves the church as someone who loves his own body like anyone else. You know, ako po, naniniwala, mahal ni Lord yung, yung, yung sarili niya, no? uh, yung kanyang katawan, minahal niya. Wala po tayong mababasa sa Bible na 
naglalasing si Jesus. Wala po tayo mababasa sa Bible na nagyoyosi-yosi si Jesus, you know? Why? Because uh, uh, understanding the Bible, eh, pinahalagahan po ni Kristo yung, yung, yung katawan niya. Just as He nourishes and cherishes His church. Which is further out, uh, further on, pointed out in the next verse. Uh, in the next verse, you will see, we are members of His body. Verse 30. Because we are members of His body. Clearly here, it is stated that we, the church, both early New Testament and, and the modern day church, tayo po, tayo mga nasa Victory Quezon Avenue, are part of Christ's body. Moreover, in, in the last two verses, verses 31 and 32, let's read it. Therefore, a man shall leave his father and mother and hold fast to his wife, and the two shall become one flesh. Verse 32, this mystery is profound, and I am saying that this that it refers to Christ and the church. Just as a man and a woman is united uh, as one flesh in marriage, the, 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 the passage is telling us, so is the church united in the Lord Jesus Christ as part of His body. One flesh din po yung church kay Jesus. One flesh din po tayo kay Lord. As how this can be, it is a mystery. Okay? Can you type that? Can you comment? Mystery. No, may mga bagay pong uh, hindi natin mauunawaan. Okay? May mga bagay po na hindi natin maipapaliwanag. Pag, pag 100% na po natin kayang paliwanag si Lord, hindi na po Lord yun. You know? Gawa na po natin yun kasi kaya na natin ipaliwanag. You know? But, but, but there are some things that we can't explain. And we just have to accept it. We just have to have faith. Thus, looking at these verses, we can see that as the body of Christ, the church should be united with Him in every way. Let me repeat that. As the body of Christ, the church should be united with Him in every way. The church should, should, should be one with the purposes of Christ, should be one with the teachings of Christ, should be one with the mission of Christ. Hindi po pwedeng church tayo, tapos ang wini-worship natin, tao. Alright? Dapat po si Jesus, Diyos ang wini-worship natin. Hindi yung self-appointed niya na Diyos siya. Alright? Kung hindi siya Diyos ng Biblia, hindi po siya Diyos. Okay? Uh, hindi po pwedeng church tayo, tapos bawal magpatawad. You know? Church tayo, pero bawal ang forgiveness. Why? Because forgiveness is part of what the Lord Jesus Christ has taught us. And if we are to be one with Him, one with His body, if we are to be one flesh, then we should be a forgiving people. You know, we should be an extension of His grace, being united with Him as members of His body. Now, as we end, let me ask you this question. Are you dating the church or are you married to it? Hindi po dating yan, ha? Hindi are you dating, okay? Are you dating? Yung nagde-date po. Are you dating the church or are you married to it? Now, I'm not asking you in the context of how Jesus is groomed to the church. Certainly, you do not need to sacrifice your life or die for the church. The Lord Jesus Christ has done, uh, done that. Saka, sinner po tayo, okay? Useless po yun, okay? Uh, uh, Christ's death. Uh, mean it's only the meaningful death because he did not sin okay but what we are asking here is how committed you are to the church that the lord jesus christ has given you pag dating kasi mga kapatid pag dating parang walang wala masyadong commitment alam mo yung dating lang you know ka date ko siya date you know wala masyadong commitment come what may lang but if you're married then that means you are all in for your church, serving your church, helping out in whatever way you can, you know, delighting in sanctification, allowing yourself to be set apart for God's use, allowing yourself to grow inside the church, you know, sacrificing that life, okay, sinabi ko na po yan, ginawa na po ni Jesus yan, hindi mo na kailangan gawin, you know, but probably time, effort, and resources, Meron po tayo, just to tell you, meron po tayong outreach sa Cubao. Alam niyo na po ba yun? 
Do you know that we have a Cubao, we have Victory Quezon Avenue, Cubao Outreach, okay? And who knows, who knows, kung, kung baka mamaya kung tumulong ka doon, you know, tumulong ka, pumunta ka roon, you know, uh, God will bless that. You know, God will bless that, turn that into the church plant, and one day that outreach can become a congregation. Church, my hope and my pray today, my prayer today as we end, is that you will take your commitment to your church to the next level. Join me in prayer today. Lord, we are thankful to you for the church that you have given us, O oh God. In our context, Lord, ang, ang, ang church po namin na Victory Quezon Avenue. Maraming salamat po, Lord, sa church na binigay mo sa amin. And Lord, my prayer, God, is that we will grow in your church, Lord God. Lord, there's a, a famous speech by, by an express that asked not what, what you can do to your country, but what you can do, what, ask not what your country can do to you, but what you can do for your country. Lord, today, allow me to borrow that. Ask not what your church can do for you, but what you can do for your church. And remember, your church are not the pastors. No, 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 no. Your church is all of us. And so if you are to do something, you are to do something for everyone. You are to do something for the gathered believers. Lord, my prayer is that each one hearing us tonight, Lord God, will level up in terms of their commitment, in terms of their love, in terms of following the Lord Jesus Christ, remembering that He sacrificed everything for His beloved church. This is my prayer today. In Jesus' name, and all of us will comment and say, Amen. Now, I want to call on, once again, Pastor Jerome to continue to pray for us. Thank you, Pastor June, for that very uh, clear and relevant message regarding our church. And how many of you, you are blessed and happy to be part of Victory. Uh, dahil hindi po tayo, we are not saying that we are the best church sa buong mundo, but ano niyo po, uh, I'm so happy that I'm part of Victory and part tayo ng Every Nation. What is Every Nation? It's a worldwide family of churches and ministry that exists to honor God by establishing, unang-una po, at tulad na sinabi ni Pastor Jude, Christ-centered. Jesus is the founder of our church, spirit-empowered socially responsible churches at the heart natin we will plant churches and campus ministries in every nation saying that having said that we all know that our church is called the body of Christ at pag sabi niyo pong body it means ito po yung heart of God mouth of God his hands and his feet reaching out to the world that is why we will pray as one church as we are uh, praying for as a bride of God, as the body, we are praying for our Metro Manila churches. We all know that we are one church. Yes, we are victory, but we are one church that meets in different locations in Metro Manila. At uh, una po natin ipagpe-pray ngayon is evangelism and discipleship. We will pray for healing for our church members. Some of you uh, send uh, your prayer request to us. And right now, we are praying with you. And also, we will pray for our health care. Ang ating po mga essential workers who are tiringly serve and for everyone uh, 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 afflicted by the pandemic. We will pray for open doors, for the gospel to be preached, and for the church. Tayo po lahat. We are part of the church to make disciples regardless of our situation. That is why for the next one minute, if you have your spouse with you, maganda yung sinabi niya, Pastor Jim, di ba? Hindi magkaiba yung dating sa married. So if you have a spouse with you, you are married. Grab your spouse and let us pray for our evangelism and discipleship for one minute. Thank you. 
Yes, Lord. We are praying, Lord God, for the healing of each and every church members, Lord God, and our families. Lord, I pray specifically for Jet Sarte, healing for her and to my sister's family and the full protection for my kids and uh, parents in Jesus' name. And also, Lord, I pray for Rich Paredes, the complete healing for his family right now. Lord, healing is your will in our lives. That is why I pray for Rich Paredes. And also, Lord, I pray for uh, Beth Josotan for normal delivery and healthy baby boy. And also, Lord, for good health for Cheska Jose and for uh, Topi to survive financial problem and more opportunities of business to come that will generate income. Lord, I pray. Yes, we're ultimately, Lord God, we're humbling ourselves before you. We're claiming the healing, Lord God, but also we're praying that this season na marami po nagkakasakit sa amin, marami Lord that kaming kakilala na may sakit, Lord, use us to speak prayer of healing to them. Lord, the same Holy Spirit, Lord God, na nasa pastors, nasa campus missionaries, sa aming mga leaders, the same Holy Spirit na nasa amin. That is why when we utter the healing, uh, prayer healing, Lord God, to, to everyone around us, Lord, I pray that you will give us the anointing, the boldness to pray for someone. Use this opportunity for us to share the gospel to them, to share Jesus to them, Lord God, for them to abide in your word and to know you even more. All this to pray in Jesus' name. Amen and in amen. And the second uh, prayer point as we pray for our church is discipling a nation. Every year, meron po tayong discipleship conference. And this year, we believe for greater harvest and for the genuine transformation in our nation. We will ask God for wisdom, creativity, and strength for everyone involved in the conference. Maybe some of you are not yet part of Victory Group. This time, after this uh, prayer meeting, I would like to invite every one of you to come and join one of, uh, of our Victory Groups so that together we will honor God and we make disciples. So uh, go ahead. Take your one minute as we pray for our nation and for Discipleship 2022 Conference. Lord God, thank you, Lord God, for the wisdom, Lord God, for the creativity and the strength that we begin, Lord God, sa aming team as we uh, conduct our Discipleship 2022 Conference. And Lord, I pray na bawat isa po sa amin, we are called to be a leader, Lord God, in our families, Lord. Maybe some of our part kami ng Victory Group. And one day, Lord God, we want to disciple one at a time. Uh, magkaroon kami ng... Um, ng Burden, Lord God, to reach out to one person, one at a time. Use us, Lord. Ngayon pa lang, this year, maybe some of us, Lord, are, are, are praying. Kami ay intern ngayon. But this year, we will um, um, we will become a leader. We will uh, do one to hands. sa aming po mga kaibigan. Lord, Lord, use us. Give us, Holy Spirit, this uh, boldness. Embolden us to be the channel of your word. To other people. Lord, I also pray, uh, we receive a um, uh, prayer request, Lord God, for Harvey. Lord, we start in prayer for Harvey's father, healing from um, uh, sickness and COVID and diabetic food. 
and also one of my good friends, um, my Victory Group member also at uh, uh, Tested Positive. Lord, sa lahat po na meron pong Panginoong pinagdadaanan ngayon, whether you are quarantined, you are tested positive in COVID, I pray, receive the healing from the Lord. By Jesus Christ, we are all healed. I know that the, the medicine, the doctors will help us, but ultimately, Jesus is our greatest doctor, the greatest physician. Receive your healing right now. Receive the comfort of the Lord. I know some of you, hindi lang COVID, but may nararamdaman kayo sa katawan ngayon. Or one of your family members, receive your healing and your family is healing right now in the name of Jesus and I rebuke any illnesses, any affirmities in your bodies in Jesus' name. Lord, our body is the temple of the Holy Spirit, Lord God. We want to serve you. We want to reach out other people. That is why we're praying for 100% good health of our bodies, of our minds, of our emotions as well. We honor you, Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. And last prayer point that we are praying uh, for our Victory Metro Manila Church is that this year we are declaring and praying for our church plants. We will pray for three locations. Tatayo po tayo ng church wherein ang prayer talaga natin is more people will be discipled uh, in Kainta, in Santa Mesa, and also in Tagig or Pateros, and also as Pastor June mentioned, heart po talaga natin, nagsimula po ang Victory Quezon Avenue sa Outreach, sa Timog. Some of you, nag-start pa po tayo doon, way back sa Fisher Mall, di po ba sa Timog Outreach. But this year, we started our Victory Quezon Avenue Cubao Outreach. Let us pray for our Cubao Outreach. Pray for the teams for our leaders and volunteers to build strong and reach more people. Hindi lang po ito community sa Cubao, yes, but we're also reaching out the campuses and communities. Alam natin yung Cubao is the heart di ba, of, of, uh, of uh, transportation. Many people going in, going out. And how many of you? You are in faith with me, with us, na magtatayo po tayo ng church sa Cubao. After this pandemic, we will see each other face-to-face sa Cubao. Excited, but I don't type Kubao if you're believing that we will build or establish a church. Many people, thousands of people will be discipled in that area of Kubao. And nothing is impossible because ang vision na ito is galing kay God. That is why excited ako as we build and establish our church in Kubao, we are all this. We are praying Sama natin sa ating mga batdasal. The harvest is plenty, sabi ni Lord. And here we are. We are ready to write the harvest. So go ahead for one minute. Let us pray for our church plans. Yes, Lord, we continue to pray for the church, God, as you said in your word, Father, that you will build your church, Lord, where the gates of Hades will not overcome it. Whatever you bind on earth will be bound in heaven. Whatever you lose on earth will be loose in heaven. This is the, the authority, God, and the, the, the mandate, Father God, that you've given the church, Lord. We are not going to be discouraged, Father, in the midst of the situation we all are going through. For we know, Lord God, that the power and authority, Lord God, has been given 
to your church, Lord. So therefore, God, we are standing in a gap, God, for all of uh, these prayer requests, Father God, including the healing, Father God, that will come upon your church and your church members, Father. Thank you, Lord God. We believe the victory. We believe the grace, Lord. We receive, Father God, your, your strength to be upon everyone. Thank you for this in Jesus' name. We will continue with our prayer. We all know that Victory Quezon Avenue is, a, is one of the churches wherein uh, uh, many of our congregations are meeting. Victory Metro Manila has uh, several locations. We are one church that meets in different locations. But in the same way, we're also one with our Victory Provincial Churches. That's the reason why we are likewise going to be interceding for our Victory Provincial Churches. Today, as we're going to be interceding for, for our provincial churches, we have invited someone, one of uh, the campus missionaries from our uh, Victory Churches in Pampanga, and he's going to be leading our prayer for uh, for this for our provincial churches. And together with him, he's actually married to one of our campus missionaries in Victory Quezon Avenue, you please welcome Mike and Cha Kondoy. Thank you, Father. Lord, we believe, Father God, that you are building your church. And we are believing, Father God, that the, that the strength Lord, that you've given to us as a church, God, we will, Father, um, storm the gates of Hades and be strong in you. Like, let me just read to you the prayer points for Victory uh, Provincial Churches. I'd like us all just to pray for the spiritual leadership of our Victory Provincial Churches. Pray that there will be discernment and, and wisdom as they also plan, the pastors and the campus missionaries to plan for church plants in, uh, in the provinces. We're going to have one minute for all of us to pray for this. Let's have this one minute of prayer. God, right now we are coming to you, kneeling before you, God. We are praying for our pastors, our campus missionaries all across PPC, Victory Provincial Churches, Lord. We pray for discernment and wisdom, God. Lord, we pray that, the, that your word will be their lamp, Lord God, as they walk towards your calling to advance, advance your kingdom, God. Lord, we pray that they will have a heart Moses, that they will have a wisdom like Solomon, that they will have skills like David, Lord, as they lead spiritually, Lord. And we pray for the pastors and campus missionaries, God, that they will fix their eyes on you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. The next, next prayer point is worship services. We're going to pray for wisdom and protection for our provincial churches as we get back slowly to our on-site services. And let's pray for stability, growth, and provision. Let's pray for one minute.
Yes, God. Um, right now, we are also praying for our worship services as we get back slowly, Lord. Um, is getting back to our on-site worship, worship services. It's your leading, God. That's why, Lord, through your Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit, help us to have the wisdom and with the every step that we will make as we go back to our services. And Lord, we pray for protection for everyone, for the staff, for the pastors, for the people, for the volunteers, Lord God, who will help us every churches in the provinces, Lord God. And we pray for stability, Lord. Lord, and we pray, God, for growth in discipleship. We go for people who will attend, who will, who will surrender their lives to Jesus and receive Jesus Christ as their Lord and Savior, Lord. And we pray for provision, Lord, for all the needs, Lord God, na meron po ang isang church all across province, provinces, Lord. Maraming maraming salamat po. We honor you, God. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 And for our last prayer point for tonight, let's pray for uh, that we will develop and raise more spiritual leaders and launch 11, 11 church plants this year. Kahit na meron tayo mga surges ng COVID and is still in pandemic and yet yung advancement ng kingdom ni God is nothing can stop it. And right now we will raise, uh, um, we will plant 11 churches in the provinces. So let's pray for that. Let's take this one minute to pray. Yes, Lord, we lift up to you, Lord God. North Luzon, Central Luzon, South Luzon, Visayas, and Mindanao, Lord God, we pray that you will raise up local uh, church leaders, Lord God, from the pastors, staff, and campus missionaries, Lord God. I pray that the Holy Spirit will pour out your Holy Spirit to your sons and daughters, Lord God, that right now you are calling them, Lord God. Binibirth mo na sa heart nila, that calling, Lord God, to rise up, Lord, and go to those uh, um, uh, places, Lord God, that are yet to be reached, Lord God, in the provinces, Lord God. As you said in your word in Philippians chapter 2, and in 11, so that at the name of Jesus, every knee should bow in heaven and on earth and under the earth and every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of the Father. Lord, I pray, Lord God, that you will saturate, Lord God, the Philippines, Lord God, uh, lahat ng kasulok-sulukan ng Pilipinas, Lord God, that hindi pa nare-reach out, Lord God. You will send, Lord God, your laborers in those locations, Lord God, our tribes, Lord God, sa Philippines, so aming mga minorities, Lord God. People will go there and reach and Lord, we will not stop until everyone will come to know the name of Jesus Christ, Lord God. And right now, let us ready our hearts, Lord God, because it is you who go before us, Lord God, as you lead us onward, Lord God, as we give thanks to you tonight, Lord God. May your light shine, Lord God, and let us fix our eyes on Jesus. Thank you, Father God, in this time, in Jesus' name, in Jesus name. amen. amen. side 
Thank you for leading us this year as we continue to abide in you and in your word. You know, church, um, before we um, end our uh, prayer meeting today, I feel like uh, some of you are not yet a uh, part of um, our church or our victory group. You know what? As in the human body, so in the body of Christ, lahat po tayo ay merong role to play. We are um, important. That is why we are need to be connected. So if you want to be a part of our victory groups, we have uh, leaders, um, depending on your life stage, if you're a student, if you're married, if you're single, if you're dating or if you're married, we have leaders. Um, uh, Pwede po makatulong sa inyo. Share a uh, message na po kami uh, sa ating pong, dito po sa Victory Quezon Avenue page if you want to be connected sa ating pong Victory Group. We're so glad that you are here today and you're part of our growing church in Victory Quezon Avenue. And again, um, invite ko po kayo, share your testimonies, your breakthroughs sa ating pong virtual breakthrough wall. The QR code is on your screen. We want to hear from you kung paano po na sinagot ni Lord yung mga prayers nyo. We want to encourage one another to be strengthened by your testimonies. So go ahead scan it and share your testimonies. And tomorrow, magkita-kita po ulit tayo 12 noon and 6 p.m. sa ating pong ikaapat na araw ng prayer, fasting, and consecration week. Receive the Lord's blessing. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make His face to shine upon you and be gracious to you. May the Lord lift up His countenance upon you and give you peace. All this we pray in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. God bless you everyone. Keep safe and see you tomorrow.